The moment I realized I could be literally anything I put my mind to, man, you ain't got to tell me twice. Here is a YouTube plaque I made for myself. <laughs> and this is what I made when I first started YouTube. It's all beat up right now, but that's like one of my first video drop. Here I have my self image. So for my lesson number one, it's setting a vision. You need a sense of direction, a certain motivation to get to where you want to be. So first I view myself in 10 years with whatever I'm doing. I break it down to five years and then a month and then a week and then a day. Like how many tasks in a day could I complete in order to guide myself in that direction? You know what I mean? That's basically this motivation, right? It's not a goal. It's a vision of how you view your life the best way possible if you really put your time into what you're doing and also knowing that it's possible it's very important and i hope you get to your vision you can make a vision board you could write it down and read it off every day so that's basically what i do as i showed you guys earlier i have my vision i didn't show you guys my vision board or whatever i wrote down i just show you my youtube plaque that's actually right here this i made this because i know i'm going to receive this right and it's just a little thing i like to do i like to say i will and then do it Lesson number two is self-image. How you view yourself is really important. How you'd like to carry yourself every day, just picturing the perfect image, not perfect, but the most improved version of yourself that you could possibly imagine. And that's really amazing to think about all the good things and focusing on one thing, which is the positive. For your self-image, you could write down how grateful you are as a person, how loving you are as a person, whatever you'd really love to be today or in the future. So just start being that thing. I mean, really Really know where you're standing when you look at yourself so yeah I got my bases for me it's my Bible family I follow the Lord's commandments that's how I flow if I were to lose everything today if I were to lose my channel today I will be good to rebuild everything from zero because I have my base it's not about the money it's not about nothing I view myself through Christ <laughs> Next, plan your days. Waking up in the morning, not knowing what you're gonna do, could really put you at risk. What I used to do back in the day, which is not really that long ago, <laughs> I just kind of figured it out where I'm at. What I used to do was I wake up in the morning and then I just kind of guess my way through the day. That's like letting this society give you things to do. Letting this world give you a routine instead of doing it yourself. And so setting a routine is really important. It helps you live the way you wanna live and it just opens up everything else. For you so plan your days if you want to go for a run at a certain time plan that time and actually go for it you would love it you could trust me on that one lesson number four is cutting off all distractions focusing on what is good removing things that do not add on to your life it could be video games if it does not add on to your life guess what you're removing it that's it right out bad habits because i know a lot of y'all may be on some different things not everybody is a gamer but there may be other things that matches the same energy if whatever that is does not add on to wherever you want to go in your vision or however you carry yourself through your self-image delete it you don't need it you don't do it if it's not good for you don't do it that's literally how it goes because little decisions like that could change your whole trajectory right your whole life whenever i started making small decisions i know that sitting here for five more minutes would not do me any good i get up so those little things really help when your mind is clear you think better you sleep better you wake up better you talk better you walk better everything's just better in general <laughs> Number five, have a base, a why of why you do this. Why do you wake up in the morning and do what you do? Why do you do this? So it's all connected. If you lack in one place, 
it's not really gonna do you any favors in the other places. So make sure that you have a clear understanding of what you're getting yourself into. If you want to be a doctor, you gotta know how many years you gotta put in to do whatever you want to do. My why is to take care of my family, to take care of many other people that played a role in my life. So those type of things, so it could be anything. Just making sure that thing is deep. It brings you back to like, hey, I need to really get up. Give yourself healthy reasons of why you're doing things. If you base it off of revenge or any type of wrong motivation, you're not going to end up in a good place. And that would lead you to understanding it then. But I'm telling you right now, you could prevent it by basing your thoughts on positive things and you could find good in everything. You could find 12,000 reasons to be sad today. You could find 12,000 reasons to be happy today. So really focus on the good in things and bring yourself to take one step and the rest will follow. Always remember that you don't need a trophy to know you're successful. You don't need money to know that you're successful too. What you have is that already success is being able to do exactly what you say being able to accomplish everything you put your mind to. It could be waking up and brushing your teeth. That's how it starts. So the amount of gratitude you have really increases your chances of getting to where you want to be. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new, subscribe. 5,000 subscribers. Who would have thought, man? I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>